it's my belief that we as farmers have got a responsibility to, to look after the land and whatever the issues are on that land we have to try and repair any damage that's done for future generations. I'm uh, Ian Walsh, uh, we farm uh, with my wife and my son and his family. Uh, we've been here since uh, the late 50s and uh, we're uh, in the Great Southern at uh, just east of Cranbrook. The knowledge of salt land was very limited back in the 60s and early 70s and it wasn't until research was done in the, in the 80s that we began to understand what the issue was. Uh, which was rising groundwater. So we haven't got a salt problem here, we've actually got an excess water problem. As the land became uh, less productive over time, uh, to stay farming here we knew we had to do something. So we decided to um, work on our poor land so we could increase production. So we've introduced a perennial system which includes uh, salt bush, salt land uh, perennials and also uh, subtropical grasses such as uh, kaikuyu and Rhodes grass. This has increased our sheep carrying capacity while at the same time we can still maintain our cropping area. We've also got green feed uh, in the autumn, uh, even if we have a false break, the perennials go through false breaks, so very, very large we've done away with false breaks for our livestock, so it just makes our farming system so much easier to run sheep through the summer, particularly young sheep. Now restoring marginal farmland, um, it's, it's, not, it's not necessarily all about production. Some areas we've, we've put back to trees, for so shelter belts, uh, along creek lines, other areas we've put back to, um, to saltbush and kaiku that's not suitable for cropping. So the benefits are increased stock production. But, but the other side that doesn't get talked about very often is the feeling of well-being and how it actually lifts the spirits in your soul. After seeing bare scald and very degraded land driving past in the summertime and seeing green growing where there was bare scald is just very uplifting. Saltbush in particular is a native wild species and hasn't had much work done with it. Um, over the last few years we've been working with CSIRO in their projects of developing superior salt bushes and to that end we've had grazing trials on, on these superior species here and uh, also increased sheep production through the reduction of methane. The idea is the sheep can graze as per normal in the paddock, so we want their very normal morning grazing pattern to happen. And then at about 8 o'clock each morning, we'll go to the paddock and collect the sheep and bring them up to the polytunnel. So what we're looking at here is the, um, all the equipment that captures our methane numbers. Um, so starting at the polytunnel, we've got this nice big long duct and that's where our, our methane and our air sample gets drawn through. Um, so you can see if you look down the duct, we've got a number of sensors that are attached to it. So what I'm looking at is the um, you know, measuring the temperature and humidity and different things like that, the airflow, etc. So I can calibrate the methane numbers. So my sample ends up in my methane analyzer and that goes across to my data taker and that's the source of that, that collects all the data that we collect. Um, and from the data taker it goes across to my laptop and that's where I can get a graphical illustration or graphical image of what we're actually collecting in real time.
In this project, uh, we're looking at about 10 different lines of uh, salt bush, and we're also looking at a range of uh, shrubs that have been identified with uh, potential for reducing methane production in the animal. So the win for a farmer is he can actually have his animals in autumn gaining a little bit of weight. You know, he can finish his stock in, on, on a shrub plot and get them to market quicker and, uh, and not have to spend his summer supplementary feeding them. We, we, have, we obviously have a very limited resource in, in agricultural lands. So there's a lot of marginal lands which are maybe no longer suitable for cropping or, or other intensive agriculture. But when we can grow a fairly productive shrub on it and, and get really good livestock production, you know, that's the sort of thing we're looking at in terms of efficiency. So this project's about investigating those different options and, and how we can achieve them.